This is so much more than the 10 year old. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have the Glengoyne, 12 years old here in my cask. It's 43% ABV and it's priced, well, below 40. Um, this one is a the first of the new bottlings of Glengoyne after they change proprietors in 2003, four or five sometime then or eight no more early earlier um, and uh, there is the standard bottling on the market the 10 year old and then a new range appeared uh, over a 18 year old 21 year old to a 25 years old and uh, well this one is the first with a slightly higher ABV of 43% the 10 year old has 40. Uh, well, it's also a little bit more expensive and it's only in a 0.7 liter bottle, not in a liter bottle, which the 10 years old comes typically. And uh, well, <clears throat> this bottle is used. Uh, I got that from a tasting. And uh, well, Glengoyne, I have a video of the Glengoyne distillery itself. I was there in 2013, yes. And here they write on the label Lemon zest, toffee apples and a scent of coconut. Hand-selected cherry casks help create this paradise of flavors. Help! That means there are other casks in as well. Uh, and rich golden color. Uh, Glengoyne is uncolored. Wonderful. It's the taste of Scotland's slowest distillation and our insistence on barley dried by air. Never peat. Robbie Hughes, distillery manager. Well, after the uh, change of proprietors of Glengoyne, uh, also the, well, the master blender changed and uh, the taste of the Glengoynes became more sherry laden. Yes. Um, Glengoyne is on the first hand popular for unpeated malt, which are a lot of other distilleries as well. But on the second hand, uh, they use wonderfully... That's too much. I can't empty that. I'm sorry. Um, uh, sherry casks and uh, across the street there are lots of warehouses where all those old casks reside and uh, they built new warehouses and then they had to tear them down again because they're not them uh, the construction company because there was some faults in it and now they have huge new warehouses and there's enough uh, space for the upcoming whiskies and in the moment 2016, Glengoyne still carries on with a full range of single malt whiskies, of eight single malt whiskies, <clears throat> with an eight statement. <sighs> this is so much more than the 10 year old. This is full sherry aroma, damp warehouse. Maltiness, sweet old honey, no, <laughs> so quite an old taste or taste of an old something and there's a honey note in it and a little bit of fresh apple or citrus. Typically people say it's this apple note of Glengoyne. This is the distillery character and then you have the sherry casks which is an acquired taste. The coconut, no, not yet. Mm. Mouth filling, sweet, full sherry and yeah, European oak coming up. 
showing. Oh, what's that? That's juice oranges. And a, a wonderful spiciness, which is not bitter at all. So this is so good selected that there is no bitterness of the oak, but the spiciness of the oak. A wonderful long, long aftertaste. And there's the spiciness again, and the sherry. Oranges, yeah. And I think a very little of cinnamon. A little caramel as well. This is, for the price, an excellent whiskey. Cask selection, oh, selection is really important, and this cask selection was wonderful, really, really wonderful. Yeah, in a few moments I have to taste the 21 years old, which will be online in a day or two, and uh, well, I remember that as a extremely sherry cask whiskey. But this one has the right balance between the distillery character with the apples and the light citrus notes and uh, the wonderful long aftertaste uh, showing all the oakiness and all the sherry. Mm. Yeah. Life is too short for bad alcohol. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, there's more to come and feel free to share this video with your friends and give your comments in our whiskey database about this bottle.